Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to a general energy reading for you. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading for you for the month. Well, not, well, I guess we could say, yeah, for the month of September for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a general reading, but really this is also a fairly timeless reading. We are in the month of September when I am recording this reading, Taurus. So this could resonate for you for the month of September, or it could just resonate for you whenever, yeah? Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, hi, my name is Eric, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, for those of you that are returning, that are familiar with the fact that I work with True Sidereal Astrology, this does not have to resonate for you in that area. If you don't resonate with True Sidereal Astrology, don't worry about it. This is just a general reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. A little bit of a disclaimer, um, there is some yard work going on in the background, <clears throat> so you're probably going to hear a lawnmower going off at some point, um, and you're also probably going to hear uh, some roosters. I live in an area where there are lots of wild roosters and chickens and the roosters like to I don't know accentuate the reading <laughs> sometimes I like to say that I feel like they're competing with me because they always kick up right when I start recording but you know what that's fine Taurus we're just going to get into this here getting into a general reading for you whatever messages spirit has for you at this time take it as it resonates this is a general reading yes starting with some oracle cards here Let's get into this message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for Taurus at this time? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and definitely leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonates for you, yeah? What messages do we have for Taurus at this time? Please, Spirit, what's going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages for my Taurans. Actually, let's move, let's start over here. For Taurus, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Taurus at this time, please, Spirit? What messages do we have for Taurus at this time? I'm seeing green energy for you, Taurus. I often uh, associate that with your heart chakra here. I feel like you may be opening up to something. Your heart is regenerating, is rising, I'm hearing. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we have let it go. Okay, that's to start. And we also have that with connection. So there is some sort of connection here. Okay, so with that green, that heart chakra energy, I do wanna get one more card here for you. But, and here it is. And then you have becoming. All right, so um, this could either resonate for you in terms of love, uh, but uh, spirit is really, or, or the universe, your higher self here is really influencing you to, um, let go of something in order for you to become something new okay so with that green energy that heart chakra energy your heart is rising your heart is healing i feel like you may be really coming out of some sort of dark place um, with the rising element that i'm feeling here but also this could really mainly resonate for um taurus uh, a taurus rising here take it as it resonates but really taurus you're being guided to really work on paying most close attention to your connection to spirit to your connection to your higher self god source creator or maybe your ancestors whatever it is you resonate with the most whomever it is you may be praying to or have a connection with focus on that connection because i really do feel Feel like there's going to be you're going to be receiving a lot of guidance here okay from that connection to god source creator to spirit to the universe whatnot whatever you are in the process of becoming some someone or something new you're going through a transformation in your life okay we're back to the first deck that i was working with here we have some more cards now for you you have uh, uh i'm sorry you have yeah a higher view in perfect harmony and birds of a feather okay now, uh, this could really be about your connections, about your friendships, uh, the, the people that you associate with, okay? Um, maybe even this could be a love situation for you. I kind of want to say um, really focus on the connections that you have in life, your friends and your family, how those connections are um, have been affecting you, maybe even hindering you or stopping your progress is what I'm hearing. Um, I do feel like this is a moment where you could really work on becoming something new in order to connect with people that are much greater greater in connection with you, better connection with you, more in connection with your soul. This could be soul family 
type of energy, okay? Um, but there is a higher perspective here. There is a higher view. And you are really being an influenced Taurus to uh, pay attention to your connection to the universe, your connection with your intuition, okay? This could really be telling you giving you a lot of information, a lot of insight into these connections here. You are in perfect harmony, okay? You are, you, uh, and it may not, it really may not feel that way right now, Taurus, and that's mainly because I am picking up on there is, it, even though you do have this imperfect harmony energy here, I am also hearing there is a level of disharmony or there's going to be a level of disharmony as you go through this energy of becoming. Okay, that, uh, but that's really just uh, your vibration shifting, your inner reality shifting. You may actually be experiencing this disharmony right now, um, but that really what I'm feeling with that Taurus is that is you moving to this greater sense of awareness, to these greater connections, you energetically moving in this in terms of becoming something new, okay? So internally, there is some sort of shift that's happening for you. I do wanna say I'm hearing a heart chakra awakening potentially for you. Your heart is opening up to greater harmony towards the universe or with the universe, with your higher self, with your soul mission. Um, but there is temporarily going to be some level of disharmony here as you make this energetic shift. So while you may be feeling a certain way, a certain higher vibration or a certain higher value in terms of your vibration internally, you are going to still need to make that shift externally. And that's where I'm feeling this disharmony may come from. Don't allow yourself to get discouraged or fearful um, in terms of how your physical reality looks right now. Don't pay attention to that, okay? Pay close attention to your internal reality, internally how it is you're feeling, especially when it comes to your relationships with people, whether that be love, romance, um, or just friends or family, maybe even colleagues. For some of you, this could be a shift uh, professionally in terms of your job, in terms of your alignment with work, 10th house energy. Some of you may be going through a certain 10th house energy activation here, which is causing you to want to shift in terms of career and finances or your just your career path. But also birds of a feather here is talking about the other, the other strongest thing that I'm feeling for you, Taurus, are your friends, your friendships, your soul family. Okay, some of you, and this actually makes a lot of sense. In terms of true sidereal astrology, we do have a full moon in the month of September that is going to be mainly in the constellation of Aquarius, but um, the moon is going to be shifting through that, uh, through that uh, energy into the sign of Pisces. So there is going to be a little bit, a, a combination of both Aquarius and Pisces energy in terms of this full moon. Again, that is in terms of true sidereal astrology. In tropical astrology, I believe the full moon is going to be in Pisces, okay? Now, with this, but what I'm really feeling here is an Aquarian energy for you. So some of you may have an Aquarius placement. Others of you may have, um, have a connection with a certain Aquarius that is disharmonious for you, okay? Um, but also Aquarius is the ruler of the 11th house. That is also the house of your social reality, um, your social groups, the groups that you are in term or are connected to. It's also the, the house of your hopes and fears and wishes. Okay, so um, I definitely feel there's a there's a strong community focus for you right now, Taurus, in terms of shifting. You are becoming something new. You're in the process of becoming something new. And with that shift, there are is going to be a change in your personal relationships, okay? The people that you associate with, the people that you vibe with. First card you have in terms of the tarot here is the eight of wands. Whatever it is you are becoming, Right now, uh, not Aquarius, sorry. Whatever it is you're becoming, in the process of becoming Taurus, it is going to help make things better for you. It's clearing up the energy for you. I'm, I'm really getting strong Aquarius energies. So if you do resonate with true sidereal astrology, pay attention to what the full moon energy has in store for you, how it is you feel empowered. For others of you, there is a, an Aquarius connection, maybe with a certain Aquarius, or maybe you're an Aquarius sun, moon, and rising, and you're, you also have a Taurus placement here that's bringing you here. Maybe you are an Aquarian cross-watching for a Taurus right now. 
this could be resonating for you still. Um, just place these energies or this, this message in your life as it fits for you here. For others of you, this is an 11th house activation. Again, whether it's true sidereal astrology for you or tropical astrology, whichever one you resonate with most, check, put, uh, check uh, what could be going on in your 11th house right now, what could be transiting your 11th house, okay? But whatever it is you're shifting into or becoming at this time, Taurus, um, there's a greater deal of communication. There is a need for communication here better communication for some of you um, you're needing to communicate truthfully and honestly about how it is you feel about something again with this heart chakra energy this heart rising energy for you um, for some of you here in terms of that in terms of needing to communicate um, uh, more effectively or communicate about what it is you're really feeling or what it is you're actually going through or how it is you're feeling about this connection. Um, you're, there's something within your heart chakra that I feel like you can't, you really cannot deny anymore, Taurus. And I understand how daunting this could be because depending on whatever it is you're needing to communicate or whatever it is, however it is you're feeling or whatever is going on in your heart chakra here, that could potentially bring the end of certain connections. But the message here with that, Taurus, is that whatever is ending for you, it's clearing space, it's clearing the way, it's clearing your trajectory and are potentially going to be making things a lot easier for you in the future in terms of moving forward. But I do understand that there there could be some dissonance with that right now. There could be some struggle with that right now. It's a little bit of a challenge, but ultimately you are really encouraged to move through this because there is a higher awareness. There is a higher point of view here telling you or giving you the advice or the guidance in terms of letting something go, okay? Letting go an old vibration, letting go an old uh, relationship, letting go of an old financial reality, maybe I, just, I did just hear for you. Um, Okay, but ultimately it's going to be making things easier for you in the future, even if it doesn't feel that easy right now. You're really being encouraged, Taurus, to take this opportunity to do this work, to move through this energy for you, even though it may be difficult right now, you are in the process of becoming something new, okay? Let's talk about letting go. What, what is it that Taurus is working on letting go here? You do have the Knight of Swords. Air, air energy officially for the Knight of Swords. I do, um, I do feel the Knights and the Pages are the mutable signs. So in terms of the air energy, that would be Gemini. Speaking of Gemini, Gemini is ruled by uh, Mercury. We do have Mercury retrograde happening this month. Okay. In terms of true sidereal astrology, Gemini, uh, Mercury will be retrograde through Virgo, the constellation of Virgo. But in tropical astrology, I believe. Um, the Mercury is retrograde in the constellation of Gemini, okay? No, wait, I'm sorry. That wouldn't be right. I don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where Mercury is retrograde in tropical astrology. I don't practice tropical astrology. But if you do uh, um, take that into account, anyway, it doesn't matter. The Knight of Swords is here. What I'm feeling for this Knight of Swords in terms of let it go is, Taurus, I feel like you've been really fighting to keep a certain connection in place for you. And it's been really detrimental to you. And what I feel like I want to say here for you, Taurus, is instead of fighting for this connection to hold on to this connection i feel like you could really be using this knight of swords energy to work on letting it go to work on cutting the cords here but also taurus there is again energies of communication with this knight of swords energy also i'm picking up on that aquarian energy there is something that you are needing to to, to let go of, yes, but you really could see, okay, and the next card that came out here is the Ace of Swords with that. Um, use, the, because also, and then this is on top, yes, this is with let it go, but it's also on top of this, a higher view. There is a higher point of view here. Either you are aware of this now, or you're going to become aware of this in the future, but there's going to be some, there's going to be some very real and legit reason for you to cut some cords to release yourself from something. There is a higher awareness. I feel like some of you may not necessarily know what that higher awareness is right now, or you're struggling against it. I just heard you're fighting against it, but it's going to become apparent for you. Can you clarify a little bit more here for this Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords with letting it go and a higher view, please, for Taurus? What is this higher view? The Six of Cups. In terms of the past of the situation, Taurus, in terms of what the situation has been for you over all of this time.
And what I'm hearing is you're going to be understanding there's going to be some sort of truth, some sort of awareness, some sort of wisdom, some sort of knowledge that is going to give you the insight, Taurus, to really let this go, to really cut these cords here. But you have to be willing to accept it because ultimately, Taurus, whatever it is, is 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 happening for you is working on bringing you into perfect harmony here allow yourself to understand what this connection is for you and how it may be hindering your progress how it may have been stopping you how it may have been blocking you clarify perfect harmony see look at this look at this taurus the eight of cups comes out here with mm -hmm, with the high priestess so your intuition is telling you or at least your intuition um, is open enough or could be open enough for you to understand why it is you need to be letting this situation go or moving forward from this situation. Anything else for perfect harmony and uh, connection? Trust your connection to the universe. Trust your higher self. Trust, I feel, I honestly, Taurus, I really kind of feel like you already know what this is. Or at least you already know what your intuition, your higher self, your higher guidance has been saying to you about this. Yes, and then you have the five of pentacles next. Um, yeah, some of you have some connections in your life that are really holding you back that are really holding you back and that are helping you feel left out in the cold or helping you feel unvalued, okay? Um, or, or maybe there's some sort of fear surrounding this in terms of walking away from this situation. For some of you here, this is not feeling worthy enough or not feeling good enough to be able to move forward, to be able to walk away, or maybe to be able to do this on your own is what I'm hearing. But there is a very real reason for why you're needing to leave this situation behind. Eight of Cups and the High Priestess. Trust your intuition here, Taurus. And I'm really, I'm getting, what I'm feeling here, Taurus, is that you don't see it right now. You don't, and Taurus, you're, you're an earth sign. You're a very practical energy. I understand that. There needs to be some, at least for you to feel comfortable in making this change for you. Um, I'm picking up on Scorpio energies right now. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. Check to see where Scorpio is in your chart. Um, but also I'm picking up on Scorpio energy because Scorpio is the exact opposite of you in the Zodiac and Scorpio is the ruler of the eighth house of death and transformation. Scorpio is all about transformation here. Scorpio tends to be also a very intuitive sign, Scorpio being water. So all of that is saying to me, trust your intuition because there is a very real reason as to why you need to let this go, but you don't understand that right now, or you may not be able to see that right now. But ultimately, you're really being encouraged to follow through with the situation with how it is you're feeling that you need to walk away. Because ultimately, right now, Taurus, this situation, regardless as to how you feel about it, what I'm picking up on here is whatever this situation is for you, it's leaving you feeling left out. It's feeling you leave, uh, feel, uh, leaving you feeling uh, less than worthy, dis, uh, de devalued, whatnot, whatever. And your higher self is trying to get you to really focus on the connection that you have with your higher self or to, through spirit, to spirit, um, your intuition, okay? And the thing about the high priestess is that she doesn't tell you all, she doesn't give you all the details right away. Whatever information she gives you or the universe gives you, your intuition gives you, it's really on a need to know basis. This is a really strong challenge for you here. Uh, this could very well be an exercise for you, Taurus, in trusting your intuition. The more that you listen to your intuition and follow through with your intuition's guidance, the stronger it is that your intuition gets. Okay, and the more and the more you just go with it and allow the situation to play out for you, ultimately you will see later on down the road why this was necessary for you or how you were have been able to heal because of this. But the strongest thing that I'm getting here for you, and keep in mind, Taurus, this is all clarifying connection and imperfect harmony. Your intuition is very much in perfect harmony, or you're being guided to walk away from something that has leaving you in a disharmonious situation situation with the universe, with your desires, with what it is you want to manifest, with what it is you want to be experiencing in your life. That's the main reason as to why you are being guided to walk away from this situation because ultimately it's leaving you out in the cold somehow, okay? But you really need to trust your intuition and trust your higher guidance here, okay? That's the big message. 
Uh, let's clarify some more. Becoming birds of a feather, okay? Um, and then you have also, you have the eight of wands here. Whatever this is, whatever it is you are becoming is freeing you from something. The eight of wands. The eight of wands is all about uh, clear and open space for you to be clear enough to hit your target, to reach your goals. So it could very well be that the connections that you have or the relationships that you're dealing with right now, the people that you have around you, Taurus, are blocking your energy, are clouding your energy, are muddily, muddying up your energy. You are in the process of becoming something new, Taurus, okay? Let's get some more clarity on that. Clarify becoming and birds of a feather, please, with this eight of wands for Taurus. Three of swords here, okay? Whatever this connection is or whatever these birds, or whatever whoever these people are around you or whatever this situation is for you, it's hurting you. It's harming you. It's doing more harm than good, the moon. And people at sea, this is shady, this is a shady energy. Now, there also could be fear surrounding this. Okay. But I do want to clarify the moon a little bit more. But what I'm getting with the moon for you here, Taurus, is um, there is something about this these connections that you have that are people are not being honest with you about something. Maybe you're not being honest with yourself. This could be leaving you feeling very much a dark night of the soul type of energy. You do have the three of pentacles here. That to me is confirming that whatever connections you have right now, this is not a team situation. These are not team players. If this is a romantic situation for you, this person or these people... But if it is a romantic situation, this person is leading you on, is leading you to believe Taurus or Crosswatcher that they are a team player for you. But what I'm also getting with that is that their actions don't meet or don't match their words or don't match what it is they're trying to tell you or what it is they want you to believe about the situation. I'm not necessarily going to go so far as to say that they're actively trying to deceive you and trying to hurt you. But at the same time, Taurus, um, they're, they're the strongest thing that I'm feeling here is just that their actions are not matching up with their words. And so you are being guided to transform through this, to let this go, or at least to communicate with them about it. But ultimately, you are being guided to walk away from this situation so that your energy can be cleared up, so that your way forward can be uh, clearer to you, so that the, the target that you want to hit can be clearer for you. Again, if this is a romantic situation for you, Taurus, you've got a, situ a person or a, a you're connected to someone energetically who is literally hindering your pro progress in terms of receiving what it was, what it is that you want romantically. OK, for others of you, if this is not a romantic situation, you have got people around you that are hindering your progress and they may be saying to you, yeah, I'm on your team. Yeah, I'm rooting for you, blah, 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 whoop de whoop and all that, all that bullshit. Right. But at the same time, their energy does not match what it is they're saying to you or what it is they want you to believe about the nature of this relationship. These are not birds of a feather. These are not birds of a feather or this is not a bird of a feather. Right. So what it is you're being guided to do is to become something different so that you can have something different. OK, Taurus. All right. Let's get a final closing message for you here. Closing message for Taurus, please. Closing um, the Lightworker Oracle. OK, I actually want to get I'm being guided to get into the Lightworker Oracle for you, Taurus, to close out this reading. Encouragement, please, for Taurus. Closing message for Taurus, please. Two more shuffles here. Uh, thank you for tuning in for this. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All right, check the information in the description box below. Also, if you would like to support the channel here and the work that I do here on the channel, uh, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations, where I do, uh, I perform a uh, extra readings for the collective. Um, and depending on which tier you subscribe to, you could potentially get either a 10% or a 20% discount on your readings, okay, on personal sessions. There is even a, um, 
a tier that gets you uh, access to everything uh, on Patreon that's released on Patreon, including a whole slew of backlog of readings, but also um, a discount on a monthly reading, okay? That's added, included into your, sub your, your subscription if you subscribe to that tier, yeah? So check this out there. But if you are interested in a personal reading, hit me up. My email can be found in the description box below along with the readings that I offer. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up, yeah? All right, closing message. Let's get this closing message for you, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Closing message for my Taurans, please. For your Taurans, really, spirit. Closing message for Taurus. Okay, you have two cards here. Card number 17, Family of Light, and then card number two, Second Ray of Wisdom. So Family of Light is talking, is really, I'm gonna read uh, the small descriptions from the book, but really what I'm picking up on is fa from Family of Light is this it, perfect harmony that you've got going on here. This connection that you have going on to the higher realms, to your higher self, to the universe, to spirit, okay? There is a level of greater wisdom, Second Ray of Wisdom, that is being brought forward towards you. This is really an effect, Taurus, of trying to get you out of this lack mentality energy or feeling left out, feeling left out in the cold, feeling left behind, feeling abandoned, not feeling appreciated enough. There is absolutely some higher wisdom or a higher point of view involved in this situation, Taurus. And, and you're really strongly being guided to really trust what it is you're feeling from your intuition here. Let's read Family of Light. The limits that much of humanity place upon their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than they love those on the outside, do not restrain your heart. You are capable of loving humanity, of loving all of creation on earth as an extended spiritual family. You will love all as your own. You are meant to belong to a broader family of light. There is definitely something about these connections here, Taurus, that you are being guided to release from yourself, to really let go of, to walk away from, okay? There is a higher wisdom surrounding this. Let's read the second card here, card number two, second ray of wisdom. The second ray of wisdom is a, co is a consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, and, and understand through the power of love and the light of, ascent of ancient wisdom. Excuse me. The spiritual master known as the Buddha is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessing of this ray of light from the universe. When the Buddha comes to, into your world, he brings the gift of wisdom. That includes openness to all that is without judgment. This might be a struggle that will eventually be revealed as a blessing in disguise. It might be the challenge that causes you to grow into readiness for the next phase of your divine life mission. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. All right, Taurus, I really hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, check out the information in the description box below. Also, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if this resonated for you. There are going def definitely going to be more readings to come in the future, so definitely subscribe and hit that bell notification button so that you don't miss anything, yes? With that said, Taurus, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon, yeah? Excellent. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>